Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. The Google's global outage is a old story now, so I don't want to talk about that. It's history. Now, what I learned as a GCP cloud architect from uh, 14th December's uh, Google's global outage is what I wanted to share, uh, a positive thinking side of it. So how do you think positive from this is what I wanted to share. So let's get started. So as most of you know, this is my LinkedIn profile. And uh, when I was doing a meeting yesterday, uh, basically it was a training which I was doing. So, and there was an outage. All of a sudden, uh, uh, meet.google.com was not working. So it was giving basically a 500 error, basically some server side error. And even um, YouTube was not working. I had posted that same thing and you can see it was having almost like 5,000 5, plus views. And uh, today morning, I, which is 15th of December, I also posted the reason for that. And I got uh, a good number of views here. So the thing is that what, we know everything went down uh, and it was a global outage. So, um, but what you as a cloud architect learned from uh, that yesterday's outage is what I wanted to share. So let me just show you that in GCP console. All right, we are in our GCP console and uh, you may ask me why that color is LO. I'll answer that towards the end. Uh, and how do you uh, do that different changes? There's a video in my YouTube channel itself, which is called as GCP Colorize. It's an extension which I'm using and I'll tell you why it is LO uh, at the towards the end. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure how many of us yesterday looked into uh, this part, cloud, status dashboard. So if you had looked into it, none of the GCP services had any outages. So if you see on 14th December, nothing was there. But the one which had had the outage was Google Cloud infrastructure component. And it is a cross mark, which nothing but it is nothing but service outage. So if you click on this, and this was the same link which I had posted in the YouTube, uh, sorry, in the LinkedIn, so if you look into the details, they mention the complete stuff, what happened for almost like 50 minutes, uh, there was an outage. So, and it was resolved. And the details of that is the root cause for, was an issue in our automated quota management system, which reduced the capacity of Google's uh, central identity management system. Uh, basically, if I want to relate it to uh, the GCP world, something related to the IAM kind of a stuff was the issue which was created. So there was a quota um, causing to return error globally. As a result, we could not verify the user's request. And if you had seen it yesterday, most of us were not able to log into our account. So this now makes it very clear. It was something to do with the identity management system. Uh, this is all history. Everybody knows it. Uh, but what you wanted to know is even though YouTube was not working, meet.google.com was not working, google.com was working, right? The search engine in most of the places it was working. Uh, there was an interim connection, it was failing, that's accepted. But what was working? Just think about it. Meet.google.com, it was getting resolved. The DNS was getting resolved, youtube.com, google.com, it was getting resolved. But there was a server side error it was showing. So what I can connect it as a cloud architect, we would have learned in our trainings or if we are doing a self learning, you would have learned this component called as cloud DNS. And one of the important features which you would have seen is 100% availability. The SLA is 100%. That is something proven yesterday. So this is a positive thinking of it. So whatever happens, get the positive out of it is what I wanted to uh, mention here. So you saw yesterday yourself, the domains were getting resolved, but only the server side error was showing up, 5xx error, uh, something of that. But never you saw something like page not found. It did not resolve. That error did not happen because DNS is very, very reliable. So 100% availability, you can get it by yourself. Now coming to the last thing. So that was the important thing which I wanted to share. Take the positive out of it. Now the last uh, interesting bit which I wanted to share where with this color, I'm not able to even see my project ID uh, and the project name, but that's, that's fine. But the reason why I made it as yellow is uh, just did a quick search. 
the color for positive energy is basically yellow so i thought let me make it something like yellow to have some positive energy uh, we know something went wrong but we learned something from there and also as a cloud architect we got some strong uh, understanding dns never goes down it's a 100% sla so this is my understanding or uh, this is what i learned from yesterday's outage hope you like the video uh, thank you for watching